Like, since you're young, man, then what do you think the young people of today should, should change in order to become positive thinkers? Positive thinkers? I think everybody should join the military. That's a good answer. All right. How do you, how do you think young people can stress godly love? God, stress godly love? I express it. Express it? Yeah. Be respectful of everybody. You know? Just not be rude to people for no reason. That's cool. All right, I got one more question. Let's right. see. Who are your five most important people in your life? Five most important people. My mom. Mm -hmm. My sergeant. Mm -hmm. My two friends. Mm -hmm. And I guess say God. Okay. Now, would you, besides God? Oh, like you, a regular person? No, I'm just oh. saying besides God. Would you, would you uh, agree that those five people would be, you know? Good to introduce them to the Lord. I, I think they all have been introduced, but yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks. Thank you for your time. Easton. Right, thank you. Ask you is, what do you think about what do you think the youth of today need to change to think more positive? They need their parents to be a little stricter on them. What we used to spare the rod, spoil the child. Mm -hmm. so right. We need to go back to those methods because that's the problem. We got too many people being nosy in other people's business and trying to tell other people how to raise their children. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. All right, my second question. How do you think young people can express more Christian love? How do I think they can express more Christian love? By having positive attitudes and realizing that people are gonna reject you and people are gonna love you. All right, and then my last question is, who are the five most important people in your life? Well, first is Jesus Christ. That's right. All right, then God, of course, the same, and Trinity, you know, and then right. my wife. And then uh, my children, and then me. All right. And then my last part of that question would be, when you agree that these people will be the first people you will want to introduce them to the Lord? Of course. All right. Well, that just about sums it up. Thank right. you again. Thank you. Have a good one. Y'all right, take care. What does being saved have to say? You're on a team. Uh, being saved means to me that having a spot in the afterlife. And when we were down here, we talked about different love. We talked about Christian love, love, and God's love. And, you know, in your own words, can you, like, tell me, like, what does love mean, in your opinion? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I'm better showing it than I am. <laughs> so. Okay. Um, do you believe that preparation is more important than purpose? Like, do you feel that it's better to prepare yourself for something instead of just going out and doing it? Yeah, I do. I think you should prepare for everything. That's good. Okay, um, thank you for your time. That's all you wanted. All right. Thank God bless. God bless. There you go. All right, I'm here with James and Ben. First question I have for you guys. What do you think the young people of today need to change to think more positive? Believe in the Lord, one. Yeah. All right. Believe in the Lord and keep your nose clean and stay out of drugs. That's a big part of the world these days is just pure drugs. My next question I have is, how do you how do you think young people nowadays can express more Christian God or godly love? By going to church more and just not not doing a lot of the things they do. About you, man. Keeping the nose clean again. <laughs> yeah, drugs, I'm telling you, it's the heartbeat of the world anymore. It's that killer. All right, my last question for you guys is: Who are the most important five people in your lives? My mom, my youngins, my wife, and the Lord. All right. My family. And what about you, man? And my friends. My <laughs> my mom. Well, my mom, my dad. My sisters, my godparents, and the Lord. All right. A little add-on to this last question is, don't you agree that these people are the people you will most want to introduce them to the Lord? Yes. All right. Thanks for your time. Thank That's you. it. I see. Have All right. Day. Thanks, James. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Yep. Two birds, one stone. Get at me. Yup. Thank you for your time. Sure. Uh, we came from Cleveland, Ohio, from the Egg Night Cafe trip, and we would like to ask you, I would like to ask you a couple of questions. Do you believe in God? Yes, ma'am, I'm currently God. Why? Because I've always, ever since I was little, I've gone to church. 
read my Bible. Do you feel that your peers influence you to do what you know is wrong? I didn't do the right thing anyway, but peer pressure doesn't really matter to nothing to me. How do you feel about Jesus dying on the cross for your sins? That's a tough one there. I know as far as, you know, him dying on the cross, he did to wash away all of our sins. And okay. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Okay, thank God you bless. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah. My first question is, what do you think the young people of today need to change to think positive, think more positive? Morals. Morals? Definitely. Uh, my second question is, how do you believe, uh, how do you think young people can express more Christian love? By giving back what they get. Uh, my last question is, who are the five most important people in your life? A great deal of family that I don't speak to right now, but I love them all the same. Uh, this is this isn't a, like a little small version of the question. So, would you would you agree that these are the people we would most introduce the Lord to? Most definitely. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your time, sir. No I have a question for you guys. Have you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior? All you have to do is say, "I am a sinner in need of a Savior." I'm asking you to come into my life to forgive my sins. I believe that Jesus died on the cross, is the Son of God and died on the cross for my sins and rose on the third day. Today, I want to receive you as my Lord and Savior. And because I gotta scratch out the old way of thinking and think the way that God wants me to think. Out of the seven steps to change the way of thinking, which one stood out the most to you? Um, the one that stood out to me the most was to disas um, disassociate. And if you don't mind me asking, keep me why. Um, cause, because I feel that um, when you're trying to change your mind, you know, change the way you're thinking, and you have so many negative people around you, you can't do that with those negative people around you because the bad thoughts keep coming back and they might go back. Uh, this, concludes, this almost concludes the ending of our taping, but it wouldn't be complete unless we offer to... Um... <laughs> Hello, world. <laughs> you made a laugh. Do you feel you're going to hell? You feel it. You I felt that way. Hey, yo, no camera. Do it recording, man. It's recording. <laughs> he getting his tools in. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. So, there you have it. Always remember, Christian love is that agape brotherly love that we should all show to one another, even when we don't want to. And godly love is the love that God shows us, as it states in John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, and whosoever believe in him shall not perish, but shall have everlasting life.